Engineering is really cool. Cleverly designed objects can be both useful, fun, and make the world more interesting. And with the help of 3D printing, it's easier than ever before to create your own things. Here's an example. I want to attach this picture to this threadboard. Now I could just use one of the threaded pegs, but what if there could be something a little better and a little bit more interesting? Some custom solution to be able to securely attach pictures to the threadboard. And teaser, I use a lot of engineering tricks in this design. Let's get started. An easy way to attach a picture to the board would be by using a clip, something like this. However, there are a couple things that we must consider. First, how exactly are we going to mount this to the threadboard's wall? We could connect the clip to a peg like so. However, the problem with this is that when we rotate the threaded peg, we don't know what orientation the clip will end up at. Another issue with this design is that you can't print this gap here without supports. With all things engineering, you have to consider the material properties of the print and the manufacturing of it. Here I have two parts, the exact same, printed in different orientations. When printed vertically, it could break along the layer lines. But the one printed flat on the 3D printer's build plate never breaks, it just bends. So let's go ahead and use some engineering skills and some clever design to solve these problems. All right, so we know we want to print the clip portion of this sideways like so, so it's strong. And to make the clip actually clip onto the picture, I added this internal bump right here. It's a little difficult to see, but this allows there to be pressure onto the image so it doesn't slide out of the clip. In engineering, there are a lot of things you have to consider. For example, this threaded peg can't be printed in this orientation. We have to flip it over, so that way the base is wider than the top and there are no overhangs that require support material. So brace yourselves, because here's where I pack a lot into this design. To solve the issue of the clip not facing the right orientation when the threaded peg is screwed into the board, I created a print-in-place mechanism. A print-in-place mechanism is a technique used in 3D printing to make an entire mechanism with moving parts pre-assembled. Here you can see the two different parts of this print-in-place mechanism. We have the clip, which swivels inside of the thread, which is printed flat and sideways, so everything can be printed without supports. I went ahead and printed a batch on my 3D printers, and they came out great. And they sound really cool as well. But the question is, is will they work? All the prints came out really nice. There's plenty of clearance so the part could spin freely and we didn't need any supports. The clip works. Here we go, this is the first test of the new part. It screws in nice and easily. The clip spins, perfect. Let's go ahead and take our picture here. Let me zoom in a little bit. We'll take our picture, we'll see if it slides right into the clip. Doesn't matter if the clip is up or down, we'll just slide the picture in like so. And it hangs down perfectly. So there you have it. Using engineering, a 3D printer, we can design and create something that is both useful, fun, and interesting. My name is Steven, thanks for watching and happy printing.